The whole scale of the occasion has been reduced. It's going to be a family occasion. It's essentially a Spencer-led occasion. Um, Lord Spencer, their, their uncle, um, who's in a quasi-parental role to them, um, is in charge. Um, as we understand it, Prince Charles will not be there. No other members of the royal family, I think, because we, we've been told now that Kate won't, won't be there. Um, and. Um, it is worth remembering that um, when right at the start of the rift between the brothers, um, uh, William spoke to Harry about um, the need or the advisability of going slow uh, in, in the relationship with, with, with Meghan. Um, when Harry reacted badly to that, um, William then turned to his uncle Charles Spencer um, to see if he could help. Congratulations from all of us. How are you both feeling? Um, yeah, <laughs> and Megan, how are you feeling? This statue, I think, can clearly be taken as a sign of her son's twin commitment to their mother and what she stands for. Um, and uh, I think in the light of that, we, we can hope, we can only use the word hope, and we're at the end of the day, we're all outsiders here, that um, they will both come to feel that um, they would want this event to have some meaning. And, and what better meaning could it have than for the two of them to start moving towards some sort of reconciliation? I say start because um, the, the, the conflict here runs deep. Sir, have you broke? Have you spoken to your brother since the interview? <laughs> no, I haven't spoken to him yet, but I will do. And, and can you just let me know—is the, the royal family a racist family, sir? No, we're very much not a racist family. I think, out of respect for their mother, I think they, we're going to—we're not going to see any acrimony or animosity between the brothers on on Thursday. I think reconciliation is a long way off. Uh, but nevertheless, um, for this, you know, these are. These are ex expert performers. Harry and William have been doing this job uh, for long enough now that, that they know that they've got to put, if you like, uh, occasional private grievances, and this is a serious private grievance, aside for the sake of getting on with the job. They, they, they are performing different roles now. William remains this key sort of ambassador of monarchy, as I say, a king in waiting. Harry is uh, this more marginal figure. He's doing his own thing. But nevertheless, it's, it's Diana, and really it's only Diana uh, and, uh, and their father that really are the sort of the, the abiding links now that, that sort of continue to hold them to, together. Just to, to well, I was, I, there was yeah. no point me turning left because Henry was coming straight up on me. So I thought, yeah. if I went right, it would look like... Except I was on my own, you see. Everyone was like, what? <laughs> is this your method of recovery, is it, Dodge? <laughs> no, it's felt a bit peckish. You're scared. Ha ha ha!